Donna from Old Ways New Times and I have a little craft project that I want to share with you that even the newest crafter or sewer can do. I needed a clothespin bag and they were so expensive at the store I wasn't going to pay that kind of money and they were cheaply made. So I took one of my granddaughter's old t-shirts that had a couple of stains and I had a couple pieces squares of fabrics that I just sewed on over top of the stains. Then I turned the blouse inside out. From the wrong, on the wrong sides, I sewed across here. Now you can do this with a sewing machine or you can do it by hand, whichever works for you. While it was inside out, I also sewed the um, armholes closed. Then I took a child's hanger and I sewed loops inside to hold the hanger in place. It'll slide, but it won't slide off, so you don't have to worry about it being outside and while you're trying to hang clothes, the clothespin bag fall, uh, falling from the hanger. Then I simply put my clothespins inside and there's the end of the project. Now you can do whatever you want. You can add lace, you can do a little bit more patchwork, what it, whatever you like. It's your imagination that will design yours. But what I like about this is that it, it will last far longer than anything you could buy. And you also have memories. Every time you take your clothes out to hang up and you hang this bag on the line, you're going to remember your child wearing this. And you're going to remember the things you did with them when they were wearing their clothes. One tip I will give you, though. It works better if you have a shirt, a boy's shirt, or a girl's blouse that has buttons. Because then you can open them and get your hand in. If it just has a, a scoop neck collar or like a t-shirt collar, makes it a little more difficult to get your hand inside. But that's our craft tip for the day. Hope to see you soon. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.